dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. On today's dual review, it's Soul Forge. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, we're back! Uh, Today is the 22nd and we're taking a look at the digital card game Soul Forge. That's right, and this came out earlier, it was one of those Kickstarter games and it's actually by the makers of, was the Magic the Gathering? And the, Ascension. And yeah. Ascension. Yeah. The designers are the makers, I guess the designers. The, uh, production, the production company is uh, Stoneblade Entertainment and this is an interesting one that you can play on Android or iPads or whatnots. Uh, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to gain these cards, uh, they're stage one cards or level one cards, uh, and then as you play the card, uh, uh, the upgraded version, so there's like three stages to each card. So like, for example, the one that they have on their site that shows it is you have like a cluster of eggs, and then you have like a baby dragon, and then in the st third stage you have a massive dragon. So the first time around you're going to see the baby dragon, you're going to put that, that character out, or I mean, I'm sorry, the eggs, you're going to put that out, and then when that goes out, the second stage goes into your deck, which can now get shuffled in, and, and uh, you can draw it at a later time. And then once that second card comes out, then the massive dragon comes out, and you can, uh, you know, use that character. So basically, you're just fighting against each other. It's a two-player game, uh, and it was a lot of fun. I mean, we, we played it on his iPads, just uh, switching back and forth. So he would tap it and do his little stuff. Then a screen would come up to show me this, you know, to, to, to show that it's my turn, and I would do my bit. And it was just a, a, a lot of fun. So, uh, so yeah, take it away, I guess. Yeah, so it, it's it's kind of a cross between uh, one that we've reviewed before, uh, Dungeon Solitaire, where you kind of line up the cards and they do battle, and depending on you know the kind of the defense versus the attack of each card, you know they die or not or whatever, and and magic kind of uh, with a little Pokemon thrown in. I mean, yeah. you kind of brought that up. Yeah, it does. It does feel like Pokemon because you're you're evolving your character. Yeah, so. each card has the potential of three different levels. So you start with all these level one. And then based on how you use them and how much you level up, you'll get level two cards uh, for the ones that you use, whatever. So you're always kind of thinking about that. You're planning about that. Like, well, this might not be the best card to use right now, honestly, but it'll do the job and I want to I want to level it up. So you use that and then by the time you get to three, it's, it's one of those things that's always mixed, though. It's always like a one, two, and three all mixed together once you get to level three. So you start off all with ones. You upgrade to a couple level twos, and so you'll have a mixture of that, and then you'll get those awesome threes, like, oh, yeah. You know, and um, so uh, you have basically top row and bottom row. You know, the top row is your opponent, the bottom row is you, uh, and whatever cards are up there, they will, they have summoning, uh, like magic, and pardon me for using yeah, that term. Summoning sickness. Yeah, where they can't be used unless they have the lightning bolt, which is aggressive. Yeah. Unless they're aggressive, they can't be used until the next turn, so you're kind of planning ahead. Uh, and then uh, the the opponent will respond and place cards to best uh, you know circumvent the attack the, the you know the ensuing attack and to possibly set up for a future attack kind of thing and so you can you know if your if your defense is four and their attack is three then you will survive but their you know their health is also maybe four and yours is is two so they're going to survive and they're actually going to get one more so. You want to find one that you know will attack and kill their monster off while staying alive, you know, just enough health to survive right. their attack. Because once you line up a character and one, at least one character in that column is, uh, you know, ready to play, not sick, you know, summoning sickness, not suffering from that, you will do battle. So, so both of them don't have to be ready, just one. So as soon as one does battle, then they both clash and the points are taken off. Right, it's like so, a simultaneous battle. Right. So I'm attacking you, you're attacking me, and then we kind of reduce the uh, reduce the uh, damage dealt after. Or when it's and done. instead of magic having like these, these stages that you have, it does have stages, but you can actually battle before you put out cards, you can battle in between doing cards, you can battle after doing cards. So that's really nice. Uh, you get to play two cards, unless it's the first turn. First turn is one card. Otherwise you play two cards, uh, there are spells, so they're not all minions. Sometimes you do spells, and so you really have to learn your deck, and uh, it's a lot of fun. It really is. And when I first played it, there's no music, there's no sound effects, at least as far as I can tell. It's always silent. Uh, the, the art is beautiful, well done. Yes. And in fact, they've updated it recently, so it's even more beautiful. Uh, and I'll get to that in a second. But um, 
everything is very top-notch solid quality but at first it was kind of like i don't really i didn't you know it's like the tutorial is kind of boring and whatever so i didn't really i just jumped in and started playing it so i wasn't like how do i level up and and you know what does it mean when my character levels up and you know all that yeah. stuff so once you figure that out it's not a huge learning curve at all it really isn't uh you just got to play you know three or four times before you oh okay okay so at first it was kind of like this game i don't know you know whatever but um, once I played it a couple times, I love it. It's it's really quick. It's really fun. Uh, the the computer does a good job, although I have to play on hard to get any kind of challenge, and I can still usually win. So it's really more fun playing with somebody else because uh, you know he he won half the time. So that that was fun. Uh, so getting back to uh, the the update that I said I would get back to, uh, they just had an update and it changed some of the cards. Like there was this uh, lightning attack or whatever that would kill well actually that's 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 a little bit different because they bumped it down a point but the one that's really different is call the week right and i know you had experience with that that's a great card it was a great card and it's like okay call the week level one destroy any other level one monster yep it's great not happening anymore now it's destroy a monster with the attack four or less which kind of makes more sense with the title call the week yeah. but it becomes a completely useless card most of the time because most Creator, you know, critters have five attack or more kind of thing. So, yes and no, but it's one of those things, like, I finally was like, oh, okay, I'll build my deck, blah, 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 and, and then I just had the update, and I filled it up with Call of the Week, and then I, you tried to use one, and it wouldn't let me use it. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? So I, you know, double tap, read it, and it's like, oh, crap. Um, but anyway, if you've played Magic, uh, you will definitely be familiar with the, yeah, the, the abilities. They're titled something different, but they all are kind of, they have an equivalent in Magic. Um, but I really do enjoy that one, two, and three level system, and I think it's it's simpler and more straightforward than Magic, but it does have some complexity where you're like, okay, well, you got to think, you know, three three moves ahead. But uh, it's, it's very accessible. Uh, highly recommend it. It is free. Uh, you will have to pay to get extra decks and extra cards and all that stuff. But again, top notch quality and yeah. and for free. If you have an uh, you know an, a mobile device that can can do this. It'll probably be available, and you should download it and, and check it out. Uh, anything you want to add? Nope, I had a lot of fun with it. I, I was a little skeptical at first because, uh, I don't know, I just didn't quite understand it. But once I started learning how these characters evolve and, and where to place them and how to fight, it was just it was easy and fun, intuitive, and I had a lot of fun with it. And there's definitely enough depth that you can learn how you like to play yes. and tailor your deck to it. Because there's some that you put out the card, and then it kind of echo, you know, it... it puts out a buddy next to it kind of thing so an open space there are cards that you can move because usually when you put it in a column it stays there right and there's nothing you can do and you about can only it. attack the one right in front of you yeah right in front of you and so but every once in a while you know you it, there's a card where it has a little footprint with a wing on it whatever you can move those around uh like i said you have the the aggressive which attack right away so as soon as you know summoning sickness and then you have things that affect, you know, like adjacent monsters or everybody on the team or spells that, you know, buff you up just like, you know, the, the bear or whatever in, in uh, Magic. It's the same here, you know, plus three attack, minus right. three from right. somebody else or whatever. So there's a lot of depth, a lot of fun, a lot of replayability. And uh, I haven't played a whole lot, uh, you know, um, remotely, like online kind of thing. Um, but uh, it's pretty much the same as most other games where... You know, it sends them a message, and if they're not playing right away, they'll get back to you, you know, kind of thing. So it might take a long time to do that, and you forget kind of what you're doing. But it is easy enough to kind of, at a glance, you know, know what you should be doing. Yep. So, highly recommend it. Go check it out. Uh, that's it. All right, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, follow our great playlist. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has, and please leave comments. We love comments, and you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, art, print, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us, and if I'm online, I will chat with you all day. All right, guys. See you later. Oh, no. Oh. Dude. Dude, really? Oh, dude, two didn't come out. That's bullshit. You fucking like, like, uh, I did not do that. Coming up, it's Legendary, the Fantastic Four expansion. On today's no review, Nick does research. Hey, everybody, we're back. Today is the 22nd, and we're taking a look at the downloadable game. What, what do you call it? Digital card game? It said it's a digital trading card game, is what they call it.
Hey everybody, we're back! Uh, today is a... Yay. Yeah, Maybe. Hey everybody, we're back! Today is the 22nd and we're taking a look at Soul Forge! That's terrible. Woohoo! So you start there, I was like, ah. Hey everybody! Hey everybody, we're back! Today is the 22nd and we're taking a look at the downloadable card game, digital style. I don't know what the fuck, digital card game. I don't know what the I want to do that over. That's bullshit. Such bullshit. We were, I was out of practice too, so. There, fun. I win. Knocked yours off. Go ahead and try. Do I, have any, I don't have any rules. I win. Haha. -ha. New rules. New rules. That's bullshit. I hate these guys. Nah, it's fine. You win. So you guys might have noticed it's been a long time. That's because we've been very busy, yeah. and I've traveled across the country and uh, found a new job, and we'll be telling you all about it later. But for now, we're just doing <laughs> do a review as we can. So, no more hate comments. Nobody was giving us hate comments. No. At least as far as I know. Not that I'm aware. 